What's up, everybody? This is Naresh with Schizofish. First off, I just want to say to all those people who have never played Final Fantasy VII, the original, welcome to the Tifa bandwagon. Choo-choo! All aboard! Nah, I'm just totally kidding with you guys. What I really wanted to say is, spoiler alert. <laughs> This video, if you've never played the original, will definitely spoil the whole fucking game for you. All right, down to business. Now, we all know that Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming out in different parts, and this first installment will likely be the entire Midgar portion. On this journey, you're gonna meet friends, allies, and enemies alike. But the most incredible thing about all these encounters is that you're actually going to meet the most villainous fucking character of the entire original game. Just a quick list right here. Uh, President General, nah. Rufus, nah. Hojo, nah. Don Corneo, a new. Heidegger Palmer, Scarlet, no, 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 none of these fuckers. What about the black kid, giant sword wielding mother? It's not him either. What? I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. Now, before you go and think this is a whole bunch of clickbait bullshit, I got all the facts right here. And I'm telling you, it's gonna blow your mind. 100% facts. Sephiroth is no doubt a badass on his journey of being the evil villain. What exactly were his accomplishments? You really think about it. He's literally that one kid in school who's like kind of chill, but then all of a sudden he learns that he can be a bully. So he goes around bullying everybody and picking on people weaker than him. But then he like picks on the puniest kid in class, Cloud, who at the time was pretty much a punk bitch. Like, yeah, literally, he was a punk bitch. So something happened, right? Sephiroth went over there like, oh, look, it's puny little Cloud. I'm gonna kick his ass. Cloud was like, oh, here you go. Here's my punk bitch card. And Sephiroth was like, oh, what's this? What? Fuck! And like, it was already too late at that point because everyone knew Cloud just gave him the punk bitch card. So Sephiroth ran away to Mommy, told her everything that happened, and Mommy was pissed. Mommy's very angry. Mommy, AKA Genova Karen, fucked everybody up. Oh, you and my sons, wait, fuck you, you too. What is, oh, oh, what, what? oh, you think you're just getting my, son. oh yeah, oh yeah, you're done. Then Genova just kind of went over to Cloud and was like, oh, hey kid, you dropped this. Gave him back his punk bitch card and Cloud was just like, uh, fuck. Next thing you know, he's giving Sephiroth back his lunch money. That's right, all of that was Genova, not Sephiroth. You actually find Sephiroth at the Northern Cave, chilling his little ice crystal with half his body missing. So the Sephiroth you thought you saw was actually Genova the whole time. Everyone who saw Advent Children is gonna say, well, when Kadarch took the Genova cells and put it in him and he turned to Sephiroth, Sephiroth was in complete control of his body. So the argument can be made of who's actually in control, Genova or Sephiroth. But it doesn't fucking matter because Genovaroth is not the most villainous person in the game. Yes, the answer is going to surprise you. But through the fire and flame of Sephiroth lies the true evil, Reno. That's right, everybody, it's fucking Reno. So you're probably like, Reno and Rue, the comical duo. But we like him, he's funny. But this motherfucker is diabolical. Like, are we just gonna pretend like this guy's not single-handedly responsible for the deaths of thousands of people? He's the one that pushed the button that sent the plate crashing down on thousands of innocent lives. No, I mean, seriously, let's do a body count. True Sephiroth if we're not counting the Genova Sephiroth. He basically did all in Nibelheim. The town had like 20 people in it. So really between the Sephiroth Genova thing, Genova Roth really did all the main damage, but still all the deaths involved with Genova Roth does not compare. Reno killed everybody. Biggs, dead. Wedge, dead. Jesse, dead. That guy taking a piss by the gate, dead. All those people that tried helping you learn the controls, Dead. And freaking Jesse! For all you people who think that Eris was the only beloved character to die in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, how wrong you are. Jesse was the first. Just completely Game of Thrones your ass. Oh, you like this character? Dead. 
Damn you, Reno! This is gonna be even worse than the remake. So you think he was just following orders, huh? He actually makes it pretty clear in the game that he's okay with disobeying orders. That only a fool puts a job over himself. When he does this, he's actually ignoring orders to go get Don Corneo. So let's put that in perspective. I'm gonna say no to Don Corneo. Oh, you want me to kill thousands of people real quick with this button? Bam. Like, fuck yeah, button pressing time. But the reason it's so diabolical is because he just doesn't give a flying fuck. He literally has no remorse. Instead, he goes around with his nonchalant attitude, cracking jokes here and there. Like, this shit is crazy. One minute he's killing Avalanche members, and then the next minute he's there giving relationship advice to Cloud. Savage. So yes, he's either diabolical, or this is one of the biggest plot holes in FF7 as far as character development goes. Everyone just forgets that it happens. He literally calls up Tifa, hey girl, you remember me? And she's like, Smile, smirk, oh yeah, I remember you. Like, the fuck? Shouldn't she be like, oh, you? You're still alive? Good, I'ma kill you myself for what you did to Jesse Biggs and Wed and my bar. With the remake coming out, they'll have a chance to finally dig deeper into this character. I expect that they will actually show us the feelings behind this action and maybe we'll even get some remorse. So what do you think? Will Reno be that same comical, goofy guy in Avent Children? Or is he gonna be that calm, cold, killer joker that you saw in the original FF7? If you found this video entertaining, please go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel because we'll have lots more coming your way. Also, follow us on Twitch, where we are actually currently playing Final Fantasy VII, the original, and more. And of course, we're gonna be playing this remake as soon as it drops. And you can follow us on our socials to keep updated in what's happening. So we'll see you there.